vision, transforming mindsets. You are watching JC Television, transforming mindsets. You are watching JC Television, transforming mindsets. You are watching JC Television, transforming mindsets. You are watching JC. on TIC 2023. How will you use me? Give me more territory. Or give me more ministry. You see, when you take the opportunity to work for God, you release miracles. God will answer with resources, with strengths, and with people. So as you take this time, keep asking, enlarge my territory, increase my borders, more responsibility. More opportunities. To make an impact for God. Amen. 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 And this week, we can, we can come together, one body, one Savior, one Spirit, one God and Father, come together and function, and the Holy Spirit will move. Can I get an Amen? Amen. Jesus said, yes, until now, you have not asked, but ask that you may receive, so that your joy might be full. You see, when you ask God, and he gives you what you ask, your joy is full. Sometimes the reason why you don't have joy, because your needs are not met. Because when I sent you out, I didn't let you out with the money bag. Even though you could have carried the money bag, but I sent you with that. But yet, I provided. You did not carry an extra sandal, but yet, you had more sandals. So Jesus is saying, never limit me 
based on your resources. I wish I can talk to somebody. Can I talk to somebody? Because tonight we begin by saying He sent us. He sent us here. And therefore you will lack nothing. Lift your hands and say, I will lack nothing. When I give you a vision, I have already thought about the provision ladies and gentlemen many times we've lifted God limited God based on what is on our account what is our paycheck like how much money have I saved we cannot fulfill a calling that God has given you based on the restrictions in your pocket. God is bigger than your luck. Somebody pray tonight. Check out there is something that the Lord is doing tonight. That you ought to protect tonight. Somebody lift up your prayer. And start commanding your blessing. And start commanding your morning. And start commanding your morning right now. Ay, 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 Rakasanda bakata ba ba ba, panda ba seketere ba 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 ba. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Ay 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 ay. Panda ba kaseketere ba, manda ra ba kotara ba. Take it to another level tonight. Take it to another level tonight. Repa sokoto, rapa seketere ba ba ba. Pantara ba katara ba, repa setere ba ba ba, pantara ba sendere ba kandara ba, repa setere ba 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 ba, panda ba 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 ba, repa nda ba katara ba, epra ta ba 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 ba, repa zoko toro ba kataya, pantara ba katara ba, repa sata ba kaya. Break every chain of the enemy tonight. Break every attack of the devil tonight. Break every chain tonight. The Bible says when Paul and Silas they were in the prison. The Bible says they lifted up their worship. They lifted up their praise. And the Bible says and the chains at the gate of the prison were broken into two. Child of the living God, lift up your prayer tonight. Because every chain of the enemy must be broken here tonight. Because every chain of sickness must be broken here tonight. Lift up your prayer and place a demand. It doesn't matter where you are. What that matters is your prayer tonight. Paul and Silas. They were in the custody. They were in the prison. But the Bible says the prison could not limit them. The prison could not stop the influence of God. And the Bible says and they started to worship. And they started to praise. And they started to pray. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Every chain tonight. 
has been broken every gates of the prison must release you tonight every chains of the prison must be broken tonight the prison of finances the prison of marriage the prison of barrenness must be broken tonight somebody pray somebody pray somebody lift up your prayer because every prisoner must defeat you tonight must be defeated every prisoner must raise you tonight somebody pray 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 makata mandokota somebody pray katapapa repaka seketa manda baba 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 panda bakatara Tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight is my night. Somebody pray. Somebody declare and declare. It is my night. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Somebody decree and declare. I'm getting up. Rapatapa. Repakata. My marriage is getting up. My children are getting up. Oh, my business is getting up. My ministry is getting up. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Is there somebody who is tired? Are you tired of being in the same predicament? Get up! Somebody cry out! Rapa Shetereba! Makataraba! Rapa Shetereba! Mantakataba! The Bible says, and at the gate of the, the beautiful gate, Paul and Peter, they spoke to the lame person. The Bible says they told the lame person silver and gold we have not any but by the name of Jesus rise up and walk somebody decree and declare by the name of Jesus my business is walking by the name of Jesus my ministry is walking somebody pray somebody pray Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ay 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 ay. Raba 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 raba. Raba 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 raba. Every woman tonight pray. Every woman tonight pray. Every man tonight pray. Every child tonight pray. Ah. Raba kasekete. Manta ba 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 ba. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Somebody lift up your prayer. And pray like never before. Repasataba. Praying without ceasing. Praying without ceasing. Somebody lift up your prayer. You cannot cease. You cannot be stopped. You cannot stop tonight. You cannot stop being stopped by the enemy. The Bible says. The Bible says. Ay, 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 ay. That you may pray. That you may pray without ceasing. Somebody lift up your prayer and decree and declare. I am not going to cease until I see the grace of God. Until I see the power of God. Tonight is our night. Tonight is our night. Reba ba 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 ba, makos 
Sokota Balaba Pandoro Bosheteleba Repa Papa Mako Sokoteleba Lift up your prayer Lift up your prayer Lift up your prayer Lift up your prayer Reposheteba Reposhetele Rakasanda Baba the, the spirit of the living God is in this place tonight. The spirit of the living God overwhelms us tonight. Somebody connect the spirit of God. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass that the body is upon your shoulders. That the burdens upon your shoulders shall be lifted up. The burdens upon your shoulders shall be lifted up. Ah, and the yokes upon your neck shall be broken because of the anointing. Somebody pray tonight because every burden must be lifted tonight because every burden in your life. Must release you tonight. It shall come to pass. Tonight it has come to pass. That the burdens upon your shoulders is being lifted up. My father, my father, take over tonight. My father, my father, take over tonight. Take over, oh God. Somebody surrender. Where were you? Somebody surrender. I don't know where were you? Surrender to him. Where were your daddy? Surrender to him. Where were your daddy? Makata pa. Surrender. Where were you? Let him take over. Let him carry it. 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 That sickness must be defeated tonight. That pain must be defeated tonight. That mountain must be leveled tonight. That issue must come to an end tonight. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent ones grab it by force. About you, it is about you to be violent tonight. It is about your destiny. You got to be violent tonight. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Ah. Somebody pray. The Bible says the kingdom, the kingdom of our God, suffers violence, but the violent ones. Take it by force. Somebody take your blessing. Somebody take your miracle. Somebody take your business. Somebody take your marriage. Somebody take your family. Somebody take the grace of God. Somebody partake of it tonight. A second time. The Bible says. And Jesus ascended into heaven. And Jesus ascended into heaven. Do declare every captivity captive. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. The Bible says, and our Jesus. And our Jesus. He ascended into heaven. Do declare every captivity. Captive tonight. Captive tonight. Every captive tonight. Must live your life. Must live your life. Every spirit of poverty. Must live your life tonight. Makosakata. Mandoro Kotereba. Every status quo. Let us go. Must be defeated tonight. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Because you ought to pray. Because you ought to pray. 
Because you want to pray. Because you want to pray. Somebody cry. I want to see you pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray tonight. Because the atmosphere. Because the atmosphere. Because the atmosphere has changed around tonight. Because the atmosphere has transformed tonight. Because the atmosphere is full of the glory of God. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. The atmosphere. The atmosphere is full of the glory of God. It's full of the power of God. It's full of the manifestation of God. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. It is not about you. It is about the next generation. It is not about you right now. It is about your destiny. It is about your marriage. It is about your family. It is about your ministry. It is about your future. Somebody pray for the things that are burdening you. For the things that are burdening you. They are no more tonight. Somebody pray, somebody pray. A fresh anointing. 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 That breaks the status quo. That breaks the doctor's report. That breaks the doctor's report. The fifth death right now. The fifth death right now. The fifth death right now. The fifth spirit of the enemy right now. Masendereba. Somebody defeat. Somebody defeat. Somebody defeat the enemy. Somebody defeat the devil. Somebody defeat the devil. The Bible says that devil raises the dust. Raises the dust. That devil raises the dust. But our Jesus has raised the standard. Tonight there is a different standard. By your prayer, child of God, launch into the standard of God. Launch into the standard of Almighty. The works of the enemy is to tear up the dust. I don't care the dust that was in your life. It doesn't matter the task that was in your destiny. But what that matters tonight, Jesus has raised the standard. Lift up your prayer and cry out. And cry out. The standard of Almighty. Somebody defeat. Somebody defeat. Somebody defeat. Somebody defeat tonight. Every standard of the enemy. Somebody defeat the standard of the enemy. Somebody break the standards of the enemy. Somebody break every standard of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because they're over. Because they're over. Because they're over. Has raised the standard tonight. Has raised the standard tonight. My father, my father. Oh, be lifted higher. Arise in our midst. Arise tonight. Arise tonight. The Bible says, and when God be risen, let God arise and let every enemy be scattered. May Jesus arise tonight. Somebody lift our God. Somebody lift our Jesus. May every poverty. May every poverty be scattered tonight. May every failure 
They scattered to now. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Bosete paka. Bosete paka. Pandos kapadesa. Paro pata pata. Repa kasaka tapara. Raka sekete papa. Repa dos kapaha. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Because the Bible says what the Lord has purposed for you, what the Lord has planned for you, it's what the eyes have not seen. It's not, it's not what the ears have heard. It's not about what the minds have conceived. Oh, but by the Spirit of the living God, may you protect the plans of God. May you protect the glory of God. May you protect the power of God. May you protect the spirit of God. Somebody pray. 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 There is something that is changing in your destiny. There is something that is changing in your generation. There is something to now. In this transform conference. In this crossover night. In this crossover night. Oh, there is a turn around. There is a manifestation of God. My father, my father. Pass us not by. Pass us not by. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Oh, Spirit of the Living God. Oh, Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the Living God. Come down tonight. We want to see you tonight. We want to see you tonight. Somebody pray. I'm telling my father. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you, Baba. I want to see you, Baba. I want to see you tonight. I set the path. My go parakata. Repa soto pa. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. That your cup may overflow. That your cup may be filled. That your cup may overflow. Somebody pray. Are you tired of the normal? Are you tired of the normal? In this crossover now, every normal must be defeated by the power of the living God. By the spirit of the living God, the same Papa. No more, no more shall you live in the normal. No more shall you live in your yesterday. No more shall you live in your yesterday. No more tonight. No more. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Because your yesterday, your yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Your yesterday has passed. But today is a new day. Tonight is your new day. Oh, where the spirit of the living God has taken over. Where the spirit of the living God is in control. Oh, parabakataraba. Parabakataba. Somebody cry out tonight. Because they're over. Because they're over. There's in control tonight. I don't know who was in your staring. I don't know who was in control. But all that I know tonight. 
we come before the Lord. Oh, may the Lord take over tonight. Somebody pray, somebody pray. That the Lord may take over tonight. That the Lord may take over tonight. That the Spirit of the Living God may consume you tonight. That the Egyptians you are seeing tonight, you don't see them no more. That the mountains you are seeing them tonight, you don't see them no more. Somebody decree and declare no more shata repas ko padaba rebababababa the Egyptians aba misiri you are seeing them you'll see them no more it is just a twist of a time it is about a twist of a time that when Jesus comes down when his glory is here tonight oh the Egyptians you are seeing them. the mountains you are seeing them you'll see them no more lift up your prayer and decree and declare I live in the grace of God I live in the power of God I live in the blessing of God I live in the authority of God the Bible says and God spoke to Abraham and he told Abraham as far as your eyes see I have given you that land for your possession somebody start seeing tonight may you see the blessing of God somebody decree and declare I see the power of God I see the miracles of God I see the overflow of the living God I see my possession I see my ministry grow I see my prayer life grow See my worship grow. Somebody see right now. Somebody see. The Bible says for all the land which you see, for all the land which you see, I gave it to you. I gave it to you. And your descendants forever. Somebody see the blessing to your descendants. Oh, paraba kandereba. I choose to see tonight. I choose to see tonight. I choose to see tonight. Somebody say I choose to see. Somebody decree I choose to see. Enough is enough. That my generation has struggled. Enough is enough. That my family has struggled. But tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I see the power of God. I see the glory of God. I see the overflow of God. I see the manifestation of God. I see as Jesus sees. Somebody decree and declare. I see tonight. Even you is online tonight. Decree and declare. I see my family grow. I see my business grow. I see my family grow. I see the blessing of God. I see the glory of God. I see it happen right. I see it happening right. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let everyone rise upon your feet. Let everyone rise upon your feet. Because we are entering another powerful session. Because we are going to another session. Let everyone rise upon your feet right now. Everyone, everyone be upstanding. Because the glory of God. Because the power of God. Because the blessing of God. Yes, in this place tonight. I will worship you, Jesus. I will give you the glory, my God. I will magnify you, O oh God. We choose to worship. We choose to exalt you. We choose to trust you. 
We choose to believe that you're gonna make it up. We choose to believe that this is my now. That this is our now. That we are crossing to our miracle. That we are accessing the promised land. We choose to believe that that disease is defeated. We choose to believe that that mountain has moved. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let everyone shout Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. On behalf of our dad and mom, Apostle Evans Wilson Kulaba, and Mama Priscilla Kulaba, we want to thank them. And I want to welcome you on this special, wonderful crossover night. And I can assure you, it is not yet over. It is just the beginning. But it's going to happen to now. The Egyptians you are seeing them. The mountains you are seeing them. You will see them no more. We are going into a session of praise and worship. I want to encourage everyone. To rise upon your feet. As we go to praise our God. As we go to praise our God. The Bible says if King David. King David praised our God. And the Bible says he could not even know that his clock had gone away. His camera had fallen over. When it comes to praise our God, you go to release yourself. You go to take yourself to another level. Tonight is a night that everything is to another level if it is about your prayer take it to another level if it is about your prayer take it to another level because the level and the anointing of tonight it is not the anointing of no more it is the anointing of the supernatural it is the anointing of the overflow and I can assure you we are not living here tonight the way we enter but we are partaking of the glory of God we are partaking of the blessing of God be blessed so much as we praise our God in the presence of our God and in the house of our Jehovah Amen 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 I appreciate the man of God in the house Amen Encourage your neighbor to stand up. Amen. Neighbor Muse Mwamanya Imire. Amen. Watch it, 
Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for such a great night. We thank him because his presence is already here. And children of God, allow me to comment that where the presence of God is, when God is present in, in a place, you can't stop miracles to happen. You can't stop a change to happen. You can't stop new things from happening. Because that's what our God is. Give him a hand clap in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, children of God, please have your wonderful seats in the presence of God as we continue with, his, with being in his presence. I want to comment that one of the things that was taught in this Transform Conference is us, you know, to exercise. And the Bible tells us clearly that the people danced for the Lord. And for sure our God loves us to dance for him. Children of God, as you dance for God, they are things that fall off from you. As you allow the praises to go up, the presence of God comes down. And let me tell you something. The presence of God cannot come with nothing. It comes with your healing. It comes with your transformation. It comes with your restoration. It comes with everything. Give him a praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. We want to go to the session of music ministry. In the name of Jesus. And we are going to have Mbuya uh, Mass Choir. Mbuya Oye. Mbuya Oye. Mbuya Oye. Mbuya Oye. Mbuya Oye. Mbuya Oye. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to be having our guest artist of the night. It's called Real Joy. Hallelujah. Real Joy. Joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Real joy. Real joy. Hallelujah. So, children of God, just allow yourself to listen from God. God is going to minister to you. And by the time it comes to morning, you can only leave the presence of God. When God has blessed you, you can only leave the presence of God. When His presence is with, right with you, God is going to lead you from this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. May we have the music ministry as we continue the presence of God. As we continue to rejoice in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen.
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Mukama yeva ziwe. Je tuli tuli bulunji. Eno jubili mbuya masquire. Mukama yeva ziwe. Tugenda kuweleza mwenyimba bili. Hallelujah. Olusoka lugamba mukama kubionko lede na kuwachi. What shall I render? Na rekele mo mukama yeva ziwe. Oru imbo ruo kubili. Balu ita wasara wasara. Mukama yeva ziwe. Site geza ngano kusigala. Amen. Katibobo gano kusigala. Oja kutue gatako. Tuchiyimbile wamu. Amen. Mukama bao muksa. Previously on TIC 2023. How will you use me? Give me more territory. Or give me more ministry. That's for you. you see, when you take the opportunity to work for God, you release miracles. God will answer with resources, with strengths, and with people. So as you take this time, keep asking, enlarge my territory, increase my borders, more responsibility. More opportunities. To make an impact for God.
Oh, 
zeko. Abasumba bwana mtifo chino. Basa mechitibwa. Mwebale kunya nereza. Mukama eba zibwe. Eba za sister wange dona. Dona oliwa. Mwebale kunya nereza. Sister wango ya njagara nyo. Ne pasta mchifo chino. Ne yanzo mkisa guneno. Bame kanga kwa esra kuswaza. Bame kanga yes chirimanyi uo. Okaka sa yes chirimanyi. Okaka sa chirimanyi uo. Kansa wa imina kumagulo kwa tuimbe mu. Akaimba kaka mawekati. Yes only rati. Chirimanyi. Tafa mkwe kute. Oh, oh, oh. Yes only rati. Tava mungu ekute Bame kanga wekute kuyesu Dije tukende Sifa was muted You job from downtown Kume sori mwanya mika wakwe zika Walwa ni lano wangula Kukende meza kuminji Nenzi giza Kwa tira kani chuo jolo Kwa tari tima lako Yeso ni rati Yeso ni rati Situla Kwa ni kemikono Ni mwena fuchiri manji mkwe kute Kono koka mwuzungu weno wano mge Oma Sefine karunyo Watari kwe chiri manji Situla Sina manji kama manji sa Mkama nto wamo sisa mwana watari kwe Ni mwuzo msana kwa maseka ya wansinze Situle nungo
Kuitomo yomu chukufu. Mukama yeba tsiwe. Mukama yeba tsiwe. Ja 
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Uh, Sister Anne, where are you? Sister Anne? Sister Anne, where are you? Say, Hallelujah! But who will you? This is Beatrice. Yes. Sister Anne, come and join us. We have a reason to thank God for the Transform Conference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Select how we go. Sound. Yes, what we are Yes, we know what to do. Every month of Nana Motoka to Fuga, Mukama Evade. Yes, we are to Yamba. Ava Yamagumba, Kativa Musava, Namukama Yama Yamba. Yes, we know what to do. Yes, who Yes, who I am you know,
Mwile wala ino Wali ozila mana Ya mafuda Wali ozila sente Dona wafuna Iwe sinza Iwe sinza Iwe sinza God bless Chariraco, but what chain on Sabaton Pitaco? What's up with China? Together, put a look at Together, put a look at what's up with China? My own, come and set the winner. Who has a man? Give it up.
Bamekango oli mubede. Gokiri Santo oli mubede. Kamba igiri saka na kaimba. Kakamba wekati. Halo, halo. Ambere demu. Halo, halo. Ambere demu, halo. Anfu de mubede. Ni mubede. Ni mubede. Yes, anfu de mubede. Ni mubede. Bamekango kwa yangalo kuwele mubede. Kanya nisa wa chipiti muche Muche wa chipiti mwana muche Muche mwana Muche Tukenda kuwa tiza fwenda Bija tukende Bawe kwa chikiriza Wanchi Wanchi Afude mbele 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 Nse ni mbele Mbele Mbele
Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Mukamaya Baziwe. Hallelujah. Oh, look at that. Mukubira Kungale Zamani. Hallelujah. Would like to recognize the presence of our dad in the house. Hallelujah. Join me in celebrating his presence. Dad will welcome you. And we bless God for this time. Amen. Pastor Joseph, we also celebrate your presence and the anointing upon your life. Let's welcome them and appreciate them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a lot of conference, no? To Tandy Cab Tandy Samina Gamba Kurida and Titu Tandy Cab Tandy C. To Jabba Sabamusoka Mutuleko Katono. To in a session, Jetu Ingira Mukatiate. Runa Tetu Jaku Tendereza, Atetu Sinze, to Lavechi Dako Amina. This is Jubilee Christian Life Church International Mass Choir. Amen. Mukama Abawo Mukisa. Katonda wa femulunji nyo Era Mwebo mkisa Ngaba wereza Amen Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Amen Amen Amen. Yes. Amen.
everyone still sit and to stand on your feet. To Jabasaba, about today to be to Sinzawa Mufena. As we bow down before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. He alone deserves a worship. He alone deserves a praise. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. Hallelujah.
Oh, this is the holy ground. Oh, 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 so kind, so kind, it's kind Ka 
ula gayanja kulukalu Zenebuza omwana mulubuto omukagwasa agutawa amani go namakezi tebienkanika Ani ya tone gulu nensi okutari mpaji Ani ya 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 ula gaya nja kuru kalu Zenebuza omana muru buto Omuka kwasa agutawa ama nyigo na makezi tebienkanika Yo kora se wali abisobola we katonda o amani yo kora se wali abisobola we katonda o we Katonda, o amani, biokola, se wali abisobola. We katonda, o we tisa, gimba, biokola, biokola, se wali abisobola.
magnificent. You're beautiful. Beyond description. You're too marvelous for words. You're too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard.
buliomu yimirira what god is about to do in your life tonight mukama chana atero kola mbulamu bwe chilo cha lero it is going to change lives that you'll come across to chigenda ku chuso bulamu aba abantu bona sinkana nabo So I don't know how much you want. I don't know the level of your hunger. Simanyi enjalawo yenkana wa. But me I'm hungry for God. Nenze nine enjala lwa katonda. You see you clap like it is no in November when you are catching I said, Me, I'm hungry for God. How many people say, These last few hours, I want to wrestle with God until He changes me. We're going to be like Jacob. And we say, bless me. I'm not letting you go. Until you bless me. I said, we are not letting him go. Until he blesses us. Turn to five people. Tell them. It's a wrestling night. I'm wrestling for my blessing. Tell five people I'm, I'm wrestling for my blessing. Oh, come on, talk like a believer. Say, I wrestle for what is mine. Are you going to wrestle for what is yours tonight? Uh, 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 I are you wrestling for your land? Are you wrestling for your car? Are you wrestling for your future? Somebody lift your hands and say yeah! Yeah! This is your night. Chino Chirocho. Whatever was stolen away from you. <laughs> oh, tonight. <laughs> tonight. 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 There is total restoration. Why do you come and say wow? You see, whatever we've been here for five days. And we've completed the number of grace. And tonight, I say tonight, we are crossing, we have stepped into a new chapter of our lives. at the devil laugh at the devil laugh at the devil laugh at him laugh at the devil 
because he has lost again he has lost again the devil has lost again we have moved to another level
strongholds shall be broken. You are the victor's crown. You overcome every high place. Hey, hey. Don't be broken. You overcome every high place. Here tonight, every strong.
give you all the praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. You deserve all the glory, Jesus. None like you, Jesus. You see, what you've just done, what you've done, has shaken everything. Everything that was unshakable has been shaken in the spirit. When you shake a mango tree with mangoes on it, Guess what happens? You have entered into a season of your fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. You're going to be fruitful as you leave this place. In your education. In your marriage, in your ministry, in your career, in your business, fruitfulness. You will no longer be barren. You will no longer be barren. Uganda will give you what belongs to you. The nations will give you what belongs to you. You no longer be denied. The doors that were closed have just swung open in Jesus' marine. Sicknesses and diseases have just left. Poverty has just left. Something has taken place. You did not only shout, but there was a shout of a king in our midst. Balak said, I cannot cast them. Balak said, I cannot cast them. Because the shout of their king is in their midst. Our King Jesus is in our midst. Our King Jesus is in our midst. And he is shouting in our midst. And that shout has reached your house wherever you came from. And you are going to see fruitfulness. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout amen three times. Three. Amen. Hallelujah. This we have had so many transform conferences, but this is the most amazing one. It has been an awesome time in the presence of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So right about now, we're going to cross over with our seed. We're going to cross over with our seed. Financially, my faith and prayer that poverty poverty has just left your house.
Jubilee will never be poor again. Wherever we are, that God has planted us we are going to take over you are going to possess the land you are going to possess the land Jabez prayed in 1 Chronicles 1, 4, 9 and 10 he said oh God that you will bless me indeed. That you may enlarge my territories. God has enlarged your territories. What you don't know, we are running God's government here on earth. Bible says his government shall be upon his shoulders. And it will increase. We serve a kingdom that increases. I pray for your church that will never be stuck again. May God increase your church. Because the force of the anointing on your life. Its purpose is to make you increase. The anointing. Amafuta its purpose upon your life is to increase you. The anointing its purpose on your life is to increase you. You are going to increase. Hallelujah. Amen. I planted Apollos watered but God gave the increase. God is a God of increase. Our ministry will never be the same again. Our ministry will never be the same As you go back to your churches. The anointing is going to draw thousands of people. The anointing is going to draw people. Your net, your boats are going to start to sink and your nets are going to break. I'm prophetically speaking and uh, some of you are getting it, some are not getting it. It's time for those that were holding what belongs to us, they are going to walk towards us and say, I give you your stuff back. Lift your hands and say, I need my stuff back. Because somebody has been holding what belongs to you. They are holding it. But now they're going to let it go. They're going to say, I can't hold your position anymore. You are the manager of this company. You are the owner of this land. As some of you have caught cases, you have already won in Jesus' name. Some of you have been intending to, to start businesses. But God has already given you an idea. And the idea is attracting all the money you need. 
We were praying in the office with Pastor Joseph and he made a statement, Psalms 2.8. To that to serve my office in Pastor Joseph, I call a statement in Psalms 2.8. Ask me of the nations. And I'll give them to you. And the uttermost part of the earth has your possession. God has given you a blank check. Fill in whatever you want. Tonight, pray for something crazy. Yeah, pray for something you've never prayed for. And God will do it for you. Solomon prayed for something that nobody would think he would pray for. And God gave him more than what he asked. Just pray something. Uh, you, know, you know, sometimes just say crazy. God, I pray for a, a, a penthouse in New York, Manhattan. And, 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 and just believe God. I need a penthouse. Right in the middle of New York. New York. Crazy, isn't it? Even in your family, nobody has ever built a house even in a town. And you, you are asking for a house in Zurich. Buying an apartment in Dubai. Our God can do the impossible. Stop praying to build a grass thatched house in your village. Pray for something that is going to shock the witch doctor. You see how poverty does. You know, you, somebody is saying, what? Is he, is he crazy? How is it possible? Well, God is about to shock you. God is about to send foreigners to pick you up in the village where you are. Foreigners will take care of you. Will rebuild your, your walls. The Bible says you will take over houses that you never built. <laughs> Uh, Jesus. Yes. I feel the Bible says Bible when you put new wine, you put it in, in a new wine skin. If you put it in an old wine skin, you lose the good wine. Because the old wine skin cannot contain the pressure. Of the new wine. What you have received this week is new wine. So you need to prepare and have a new wine skin. A new mindset. That my God can do it for me. He can take me there. Have a mind that is different from the one you came with. Because the anointing and the wine that you're receiving now is not to go back and do the same thing. You can't do the same thing you left doing and you think you're going to see the difference. Go back and do different. Start on Monday in your office and do different. On Sunday, preach a different message. Sing a different song. Get the church to do what they've never done. God has given you the new wine. The responsibility of containing it is yours. If you still want to continue with your little cup, 
Oh, you want a big drum? Thou anointest my head. And my cup runs over. God has anointed you. But it is your responsibility to go implement that anointing. Stand up with your sin. I want you to pray for something crazy. Whatever you want, pray. Lift your hands. Financially. Tell God. Tell God what you want. Tell God what you desire. Tell God what you want to say. In your home, in your family. In your finances. Ask God the nations. Ask God the companies. Let the wicked run. When nobody is chasing them. Let the wicked run. When nobody is chasing them. But you the righteous. You're going to be bold as a lion. Financially we're going to be bold. We'll never run away from from, 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 from any pressure. No poverty anymore. No tears in your house. No limitation in your ministry. God is raising partners. Men and women who are going to write to you. We want to bless your ministry. We want to buy you a new car. We want to buy a house for you. We want to construct the church for you. We have given you seven acres. Seven acres. Miracle things are going to begin to happen in your life. Some of you, you just be there and they say, We've sent your ticket and the visa is ready. Go pick it. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible declares that in one just in one night the children of Israel walked out of Egypt when they had everything they need they plundered Egypt of God's silver and riches Father this is our night we are plundering in the spirit we tell the people we tell the, 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 the things that have held what is our lose in Jesus name. lose our money lose our prosperity let go because we can't worship our God and we suffer we can't worship our God and we have pain in ministry we can't worship our God and we lack in ministry the church must increase the church must possess we take over places Lands, territories, televisions, radios, vehicles, jets, banks, everything that is for the kingdom. We take it over. It's our time to take over. Devil, you wrongfully have been possessing what is not yours. The wicked have been possessing what is not theirs. Now we have come for our stuff. Children of Israel knocked on the doors of the Egyptians. And 
said we want the gold we want the silver and they hurried in their houses and gave us as much as they wanted tonight tonight in the spirit we send the word to the wicked give back what is for the church let God's people go in the mighty name of Jesus we give you praise for your good God in Jesus name come on walk to the boxes and put in your seed and say I'll return next year with the miracle <laughs> drop it there and say I'll return next year with a testimony Okay, clap your hands and appreciate the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Stand up on your feet, everybody. God has been so, so, so good to us. How many say God has been so, so, so good to we us? We cannot... Words cannot tell how grateful we are. That God keeps giving us the best. This transform we've been highly, highly blessed. Transform Because God sent us the best. Pastor Joseph has been an amazing blessing. How many people have enjoyed the ministry of the man of God? Amen. <clears throat> and, uh, well, you, he does overnights in Canada. I was uh, no, but, overnights in Canada. Yeah. You know, God was speaking to me as we were there worshiping. And told me. There is revival coming in Ontario. Erio revival, erio kujamu Ontario. And especially Ottawa. Erio kusingi la dala Ottawa. And your ministry Obwerezawu. is going to be the vessel that God is going to use. Bugenda kuwele chibi ya katonda chagendo kozesa. Because you've opened up 
your hands for all nationalities. You are receiving the heart of God. And those same people, God is going to use them mightily in the, in the areas where God is planting them in terms of work. To bring revival. So get ready. So Because you're about to experience an overflow in your ministry. Like even in the next 90 days you are going to count what you've never counted. God is going to expand your ministry incredibly in a way you, you just look and say God what is going on because it's going to be beyond your planning. It is going to be beyond your planning. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Joseph is a wonderful friend of this ministry. And uh, he's, uh, he's a great conduit for Jubilee to be fully operational in Ontario and Canada. So he's, he's instrumental in making sure that will fulfill the mandate of being an international ministry. Just like he shared with you. So the man you are about to receive carries an anointing that is global. And what you are receiving tonight is not a handout. out. See hand out. You are receiving the heart of God. Through this man of God. God. So with the TIC crossover night, so join your hands God. together and let's welcome Pastor Joseph Kiria Wright from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. God from bless you. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wogana hallelujah. Please take your seats in God's presence. We want to appreciate our Father, the Apostle over this house, our overseer, for the call of God upon his life. And for the vision of organizing Transform International Conference. We have been blessed through these five days. Because a man chose to be obedient to the call of God upon his life. Together with his dear wife whom I'm in touch with right now. We have been communicating and I'm communicating with her now. We want to thank both of you for being great parents to us. A great covering over us. A great blessing over the body of Christ. Shall we give a jubilee appreciation to the apostle of the house? No, kusima kwa jubilee over this ministry. We can do better than that. I know we are tired. But we can do better than that in the name of Jesus. We can do better than that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also bring you greetings from my dear wife. But most importantly, I bring you greetings from our church. Which is online right now in Canada. They are following what is happening here. Shall we appreciate River Jordan Ministries for joining us tonight? Let River Jordan Ministries know that we welcome them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
I have been so blessed. And as I go back home, next week, I am full. And I am overflowing in the name of Jesus. It has been such a joy to be with you. I'm so glad I said yes to the invitation. And I'm so thankful that God made it possible for me to be here. In a special way, I also want to thank our bishops. Maybe if you don't mind, I want to ask all our bishops to rise up to their feet. They have been here with us. It would have been easier for them to send us. But they are here with us. Shall you help me appreciate our coverings, our coverings, our fathers, the ones who toil in prayer for us day and night, who don't allow sleep in their eyes because they are careful about you. Will you help me appreciate the grace of God upon this man, upon this man, in the name of Jesus? Thank you so much, bishops. I'm so humble to be with you in the name of Jesus. In a special way, we want to thank all our pastors as well for the work you do. The Bible calls them foot soldiers. They are the ones who run on their feet. All our pastors present, please rise up to your feet. Pastors, please rise up to your feet. I would expect you to be celebrating this men and women of God. We celebrate you. We thank you for being here. In the name of Jesus. Finally, you're going to put your hands together for your yourselves. Think about it. If I had only the bishops and the pastors, we would not have a conference here. We have this conference because all of you are in the house. Let's put our hands together for every single person who has not left this conference for us, but you came out in big numbers to glorify Jesus. We thank you. In Jesus name. This is the final night and I have some assignments here that I want to make known to you. Number one, we are going to pray. We came here to pray. I said we are going to pray. Woo. But before we pray, I'm going to ask you to allow me to teach something so small. The problem with teaching at midnight is a problem that Apostle Paul knows very well. That the people end up sleeping. But the good thing there's an anointing here to bring back to life everybody that will be sleeping. So I pray tonight that the spirit of Eutychus will not take over. But you'll be awake in Jesus' name. But before I preach, I have an assignment that is so dear to my heart. And I personally think this may be the reason I came all the way here. I am a teacher by calling. That is my calling. And I'm happy to teach. That's what I do in the kingdom of God. I would love to be a prophet. Amen. I would love to be a prophet. I would love to be an evangelist. I would love to be an apostle. But God has called me to be a teacher. And that's what I do. But once in a while, God releases what we call a prophetic grace over my life. Particularly in the life of our pastor's children. Because I myself am a pastor's child. And so many times God has always called me to say some prophetic things 
to our pastor's children. And there's one particular pastor's child I want to speak to tonight. God has put a burden on my heart for him. But as we speak over this child, we are speaking over all the pastor's children. Either in the house and those who stayed at home. And we also speak speaking to all the young people. Apostle told us that I have a burden for the young people. And so that's going to be my first responsibility. So please be patient with me as I do what God has called me to do tonight. There's a young man in this house called Ebenezer. And I'm going to call you forward. Please come forward. Let's put our hands together for this young man. I don't like the way you celebrate. Let's put our hands together for this young man. In the name of Jesus. Please come and stand here with me. Because that's what you're going to be doing. In the name of Jesus. This young man reminds me so much of my own son. I've been watching him and seeing him throughout this entire service. And he reminds me very much of my son. And God has some things that he wants to say to you tonight. And what I'm saying to you is for the pastor's sons. And the pastor's daughters. And for the young generation that has become a burden upon the heart of our father. Church, first of all, I want to encourage you to... Find room for pastors' children in your congregations. Have a way of appreciating these children. Because I want you to know that pastors' children go through what none of you goes through. While each one of you has a father, Pastors' children don't have a father because their father has become a father of many. Am I communicating at Jubilee? Am I communicating at Jubilee? While each one of you has a father, pastors' children don't have a father because their father has become a father of others. Not because he wants, but because God, that's what God wants him to do. And so there is nothing the children can do about it because their father is doing what God wants them to do and there is nothing they can do about it and so they grow home without a father yet they see their father being called a father by very many others and that pain continues to grow in their hearts am I communicating Number two, while we enjoy the ministry of our, of our pastors, the pastor's children have the unfortunate responsibility of listening to the pains their fathers and mothers go through in the ministry. So while you enjoy the ministry of the bishops, these children, they are listening to the pains that their fathers are going through in being fathers to you. And that increases their pain. They say you are not our father because you are a father to them. But the people you are a father to are taking you through so much. As young children, it bothers their mind. Is someone listening to me? Number three, they see their 
fathers and mothers going through so much for the sake of the ministry. Like some of these bishops have their children who have remained at home because their fathers have been here for a whole week. They see what their fathers are going through and how much they are sacrificing for you. And here is what happens. After about five years, three years, seven years, these pastor's children begin looking around for the people their fathers have been laboring and toiling for. Say that one more time. Say that again. Where are they? They have walked out of the church. There's no anointing in that church. Others say God has told us to find another church. And these children are filled with such pain. Dandy spent all his life on these people. And when we expect them to be a blessing now to our daddy, we see them walking away. And some of them don't just walk away. They walk away with very bad words against their fathers. And that pain continues to increase in the lives of pastors' children. Give me some more power in my monitors. That is the pain of a pastor's child. I grew up as a pastor's child and I told my father clearly there are two things I will never do. Number one, we were born 12. I said I'll never have many children. Because I see how much we have suffered because we are many. Number two, I will never be a pastor like you. Because I have seen how much suffering I have gone through being a pastor's child. And I don't want my children to go through that suffering. But God is a good God. Hey, God is a good God. God is a good God. I'm a pastor today. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. God is calling you to the ministry. I would expect somebody to put their hands together for Jesus. I'll be honest with you. It's not something I'm excited about. Because ministry is not easy. But God is calling you to the ministry. Whether you feel it, whether you want it, whether you've thought about it, you've never thought about it. That's why I said it feels like this is all the reason I had to travel on this trip. To be able to say to you, that what God called me into he is calling you into it in the name of Jesus that what I hated to do and I'm now doing it with joy is the same thing you hated to do but God says you are going to do it and you are going to do it with joy in the name of Jesus yes yes Lord God is calling you. The burden upon apostles' life for the young people. You are going to become a trumpet and an ambassador of that burden. Hallelujah. 
the burden on his heart. He's going to carry that burden. And he is going to lay it on your shoulders. You are going to fulfill what God has put in his spirit. He will sit back. He will sit back and will be so thankful that what God put in his heart and in his spirit, God found a vessel to carry it forward in Jesus' name. Oh, someone shout hallelujah! Yes, Lord. He's not going to do it. He has he's only a pioneer. He's only a visionary. There are people that God is going to bring to carry that vision. And you are one of those people in the church. Time is going to come when our father goes to churches and to conferences to speak. And he'll say, Before I speak, or after I have spoken, Ebenezer is going to speak. It is going to happen in the name of Jesus. Not because he wishes to, but because of what God has put in your spirit. He'll have such confidence that he can sit down. And you are able to communicate what is in his spirit to your generation in the name of Jesus. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. Grace is available for you to make this happen. Do you understand? Yes. Agambia we wow. You are going to honor your father. Honor him. You're going to honor him. The reason you're going to honor him, God is going to begin taking to dimensions. The reason you're going to do that, God is going to take you to dimensions that he hasn't experienced. Is the church listening to what I'm saying? Can he say the dimension that he hasn't experienced. Revelation that your father hasn't experienced. Grace that your father hasn't experienced. A glory that your father hasn't seen. God is going to do it through you. God is going to give you audience that your father has not had the opportunity to minister to. God is going to give people an ear to hear that could never hear what your father has to say. And as he does that for you, you continue to eat honor. You continue to honor. You continue to honor. You continue to honor the source from which all this grace is coming from. Someone shout hallelujah. And you're going to be obedient. You're going to honor. You're going to be obedient. I don't know because of the protocols of the church how much you communicate directly with the apostle. But I came to declare that there's going to be an open communication between you and him. A complete open communication between you and him. He is going to call you and instruct you about certain things that you must do in obedience. You are going to call him and talk to him about certain things that you feel in your heart and you're going to listen to what he has to say to you and you'll do it. Because the burden on his shoulder, the Lord is putting it upon your shoulder in the name of Jesus. Someone shout, Hallelujah! Don't say why Ebenezer. This is a point of contact for each one of your children. This is a point of contact for all the young people that we saw in the house run around. That grace is being transferred. One last thing. I've been speaking with the apostle. I've been speaking with the apostle about the importance of There's a young man here called Pastor Jesse. Correct? 
You know Pastor Jesse, correct? Umusumba Jesse. Maybe you call him Jesse, me I call him Pastor Jesse. That's why you're getting confused. Umusumba me, I call him Jesse. Pastor Jesse. The apostle's son. He's not here tonight. But there's Pastor Jesse in the house, correct? Yes. And I've been speaking with the apostle about the importance of him lending that son to me. Of him lending that young man to me. So that we can have him trained on an international dimension. Outside of this place. Maybe for two or three years. And I know how difficult that is. But we have been having those conversations. Because I was telling the apostle that this God is, is, is taking it to a, 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 an international dimension. And we are going to rely on the pastors who are right here. To fulfill that international dimension. And so I've been speaking to Apostle about the possibility of lending me Jesse. We've not concluded that conversation. But we are still talking. But I feel in my heart that in addition to Jesse, we are going to have to take you overseas for training, for exposure, to make connections, to meet other young people that have the spirit of God in them that will challenge you, who will motivate you, who will push you, that when you bring you back here, there is a grace that is not only local but there is a grace that is global in the name of Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah not by power not by might but I know the spirit of the living God in God's own time is going to make it happen in Jesus name and somebody will say amen. Kneel down, let me pray for you. Kneel down, kneel down. This one, this one, I don't need the permission of your father. We have him, sir. We have him, sir. We have him. We're going to have him maybe for six months. Maybe for nine months. Maybe for one year. Maybe two years. I don't know. What I know that he is going to be exposed internationally. Because the generation he's going to be ministering to is a generation that is exposed even when they are locally here. And so he has to come to a level that is higher than their level. That they're not, he's not only exposed, that he is not only exposed, but he knows, but he has experienced, that he has lived through it, that he is able to impact them in the name of Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. Please rise up to your feet. Let us anoint a man of God. Let us anoint a man of God. I don't know this young man. I've not spoken to him. But he reminds me of my son. He reminds me of my son. And I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to make sure you have this conference coming up when the one you said is going to be for young people in Iganga. I'm going to send my son to that conference in the name of Jesus so that you can interact with him. For your sake, I'll send my only son. Hey. Yes, Lord. And, 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 and you spend some time with him. His English is a little bit complex. And you'll have difficulty understanding him. But his God is training, 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 training you, training you, training you, training you. Training you. 
He'll give you a test of what you are going to experience right here in Uganda. Right here in Iganga. The apostle said God is going to put you to a dimension where people that are overseas will be looking for you right where you are because of the grace of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Please come and help me lay hands on this young man. Apostle, is it okay for me to invite the bishops to help me out? Bishops, please come and do this for us. This is for, not just for this young man, but it's for your sons and for the young people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is grace upon this young man. Grace upon grace. This is the voice of his generation. Please give me the anointing oil. Give me the anointing oil. Lord, I break every protocol to declare what has not been given to me but what you have given me to anoint and to set apart for the work of the ministry even when he has not said yes to the call heaven has already said yes to this calling he cannot help it but say yes Lord I pray upon this young man there will be an unction as that which was on David an unction that brings down giants an unction that possesses territory. An action that raises up young people to the highest offices of the land. An anointing that gets nobodies and makes them somebodies. In the mighty name of Jesus that gives ordinary men authority in their generation that makes those who had been forgotten to be remembered and to be lifted up. I release that grace over you. God will give you utterance. God will give you eloquence. God will give you revelation. God will give you unction. God will give you power. God will give you authority. Those who saw you, like Paul, they will say, is that this the same man we saw? But they'll answer themselves and say, we see evidence of the hand of God. God upon that young man yes, Lord. as we pray as we declare through this transformed conference that we are pursuing and we are recovering all you are one of those that God has pursued you are one of those that has been recovered you are one of those that is going to shake and move your generation to the purposes of God in the name of Jesus I pray no man no principalities no mountain shall stand against you whatever rises up against you shall fall for your sake in the name of Jesus God will give you provision God will give you territory God will give you authority God will give you power Power to do what you thought you could never do. You'll be an example. You'll be an encouragement to pastors' children, to the young people. You'll speak and God will back up your word with the miracles, with the signs, with the wonders that I'm a God who does miracles that are so great. Lord, we set Ebenezer aside. As his name is, so shall he be. We shall see Ebenezer and say, see how far God has brought us as Jubilee Christian Life International. See how far God has brought us. See what God has done. And I use you as a point of contact for the sons and daughters of every bishop that is commissioning you, every pastor that is here, 
that they shall serve God. They shall travel nations. They'll be greater than their fathers. They'll do what their fathers are not able to do. They'll possess what their fathers pioneered. In the name of Jesus, that the grace upon their fathers and upon their mothers will not go to waste. You will carry that mantle to another dimension. As Elisha, so shall you be a double portion of the grace of God upon your parents comes upon you. The young people at Jubilee Christian Life, they will never be wasted, but we are investing them to kingdom purposes in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody shall say, Amen. 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 Apostle will give you my number. And you have my fullest permission to reach out to me anytime. Over anything. Including your personal physical needs. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Amen. 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 God bless you. 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 Thank you so much, bishops. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If that's all we had to do tonight, Amen. if that is all we had to do tonight, it was worth this conference. I said it was worth this conference. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Woo! take our seats in his presence. The last time God moved me to do this was in Eldoret, Kenya. And, I, and God spoke to me the same thing he's spoken to this young man. Over the daughter of the bishop who was hosting me. And when I called out her name to say the things I just spoke to Ebenezer, everybody laughed. I think some people said, it is better you stay as a teacher. Because prophecy is not yours. We know that girl. And she hates ministry. It was about two, three years ago. Last year they called me for her wedding. And she was marrying a pastor's son. As we speak today, she's a pastor's wife and she's a pastor in her own right in Jesus' name. Someone shout hallelujah. God has a way of choosing people. Not the way we choose them. But the way he decides. In Jesus' name. Please, let's go through a few scriptures. I know we are tired. But I just want to be obedient. I want to be obedient very quickly. And finally, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. I want to go through this really fast. That among the things we're going to pray for tonight. We want to pray for weaknesses. We want to pray for situations. Let me change it this way. We want to pray for the health of our ministries. We want to pray for the health of our ministries. And the first night I was here, the first day I was here, I told you that it's not very usual that you have a conference and that the theme scripture of that conference is an entire chapter. Maybe I could probably say it's the first time I'm encountering that in my ministry life. Usually it's a verse. But this is an entire chapter. 
And the servant of God that was led to do this is not a novice in the ministry. He is he's not He's not young in the ministry. He understands the importance of having one catchphrase verse for a, for a theme. And he knows how difficult it is for his pastors, for his guests to deal with an entire chapter for a conference. But it's what God told him to do. And he stayed obedient to that call. As I read through this entire chapter which I have begged you to read this is the third time I'm begging you I realize that there are four conditions that happened in these verses that must be fixed in our churches so we can experience restoration the first experience is that of a congregation or people in our congregations who are upset we are going to deal with people in our congregations who are upset. Even some of the people here in this overnight are upset about some things in the ministry. Some of them, the reason they actually came to pray tonight is because of the things they are upset about in the church. But I want us to trust God that as we go back, God is going to minister health in our ministry. And those who are upset are going to rejoice. Those who are upset are going to recover. Those who are upset are going to serve God. Those who are upset are going to walk with you. Because the Bible says, the Bible says that while these men were upset, First number nine, chapter 30 of First Samuel, the Bible says, So David went, so David went, he and the 600 men who were with him. These men received an instant restoration from their grief and from their pains that when David decided to go and pursue these same men who were upset they decided to come with him I pray that the people who are upset in your churches who want to go away who are sitting meetings against you after this transform conference when you ask for people to go with you go God will touch them and they'll be the first ones to go with you in Jesus' name. Someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That everyone upset. God will restore them. God will touch them. They'll become your number one supporters in the name of Jesus. Someone shout I receive that. And if you are here and you are upset, upset with your pastor, upset with the bishop, upset with the apostle, I pray over you tonight. May you receive healing. May you receive restoration as you leave this place. I pray for the joy of the Lord to fill your heart and be set free totally in Jesus' name. Number two people. The Bible says, Bible verse 9, stay there with me. So David went, he and the 600 men who were with him and came to the brook. Someone say brook. brook. Someone say brook. Yeah, huh, in Uganda. Say brook. Akaga. Where those stayed behind who were left behind. There are those 
who had actually stayed behind. They were not upset. For some reason, they simply chose to do what? They simply decided to stay behind. Is someone following me? Is someone following me? The Bible says they stayed behind because they got so tired. They were so weary. They did not even have the energy to complain. They were tired people. So tired that they cannot even participate. They cannot complain. They cannot give. They can't sing. They are simply tired. Tired. Pastors and bishops. There are people in our ministries who are simply who are simply tired. who are simply tired. They don't hate the ministry. They don't have a problem with the pastors. For some reason, they are simply tired. And some reason, sometimes it's our own wives. Sometimes it's our own what? Our well, own what? Wives. They are simply what? Tired. Sometimes it's elders. You ask for con you ask for suggestions in the meeting. Anybody has anything to say about this thing? Ah, for us we have nothing to say. They are what? Tired. That after this conference, the anointing and the power of restoration will encounter every tired member in your church. Every tired elder in your church. Every tired worshiper in the church. Receive grace for restoration in the name of Jesus. Woo! Tired. Buko. Tired. Bukowa. Oh, we have uh, overnight. Tired. Yeah, that there will be no more tiredness in Jesus' name. There will be no more tiredness in the Yo name of Jesus. We have those who are upset. And we have those who are what? Tired. What do you do to those who are tired? Verse number Number, 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 verse number nine and ten. The Bible says in verse number ten, they were tired, but David pursued. Listen to me, they were tired, but the bishop pursued. The people were tired, but the worship leader continued to lead. They were tired. But the intercessors kept praying. The problem with people who are tired have the tendency to make everybody else tired. But I pray for you leaders that even though they are tired, you continue to pursue. Even though they are tired, you continue to believe. Even if they are tired, you continue to leave. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says David pursued. David followed the vision. David kept going. In as much as he had people who are what? Who are what? Tired. Keep pursuing. Keep fighting. The Bible says for 200 stayed behind. Who were weary. They could not cross. The brook vessel. I pray for you that God will give you the grace. In spite of those who are tired in your ministry. In spite of those who are weary in your ministry. In spite of those who are weary in the house. That God will give you the grace to continue to pursue, to continue to serve, to continue to believe, to continue to pray in the name of Jesus. Number three category. Number one, they were upset. Number two, 
the tired ones. Number three. The jokes about Satu. Verse 11. We, we, go, we, pray. we only have four categories. So category number three. Verse number 11. Then they found an Egyptian in the field. Brought him to David. Gave him bread. And he ate. They let him drink water. Verse number 12. And they gave him a piece of cake. Of figs. And two clusters. So when he had eaten. The Bible says his strength came back to him. For he had eaten no bread. Drank no water. For three days. And three nights. Read with me verse number 13. Then David said to him. To whom do you belong? Where are you from? He said I'm a young man. From Egypt. I'm a servant. Of the Amalekites. My master left me behind. Because. 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 There is a third category. Of those who are sick. That's why the apostle said. There are three dimensions tonight. There is a healing for the sick. There is a cancellation of death. And there is a, there, there is, there is, there is, there is, is a dimension of provision. A dimension of abundance. So for those who are sick. There are those who are sick. Sick spiritually. Sick emotionally. Sick because of the turbulence. They are sick. Pastors, they are sick. In the church, they are sick. Sick spiritually. You've been preaching, preaching, preaching. You discover there's no change. Ten years. Somebody is worse than the first time you found him. Spiritually sick. Sick. And people who are sick can become such a burden for a bishop and a pastor who loves his But the Bible says they gave this man bread. Someone say bread. Someone say bread. Bread. Verse 12, the Bible says they gave him bread. The Bible says he ate. When he ate, he got strength. I am releasing a grace upon you. That the word you speak on your pulpits after this conference, it shall become bread to those who are sick. It shall become bread to those who are sick. It shall become an answer to those who are sick. It shall become a healing. To those who are sick in the name of Jesus. Woo. We have been preaching the word. But after this conference. The word you speak. Will have power. To bring the sick. Back to life in the name of Jesus. To heal those. Who have given up. To heal those. Whom the devil has stolen. There will be healing. In your churches. There will be miracles. In your churches. Because of the bread that you are going to serve this Sunday in Jesus name. Someone shout hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. Apostle said there are things we used to do then but there's a new dimension we have come to. Maybe you used to preach the word of God but now the word of God you preach will carry power will carry healing will carry restoration will carry breakthrough will be prophetic will restore people in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone shout hallelujah and finally we have the final category. The Bible says verse 21. Now David came to the 200 men who had been so weary. Is it there? 
yes. that they could not follow David. The people that walked away from your churches, they could not follow you. Some of them fell off. Some got upset. Some got tired. Some were sick. And they could not come with you. The Bible says, So, those men went to meet David. And to meet the people who are with him. And when David came near to the people, he greeted them. I want to release a secret to you, bishops and pastors. Do not have anything in your heart against somebody who chose to get upset and walked away. Do not have anything in your heart against anybody who got sick and decided to fall off. Don't have anything in your heart against anybody who said negative things against you and split your churches into two and into three and brought all your work to nothing. Don't have anything against them. The Bible says in 22, that is the final category of people. Then all the wicked and the worthless men of those who went with David answered and said, because these men did not come with us to fight. Bishops. These people disappointed us. They, they, us. they didn't go with us where we were struggling. Before we built, they were not there with us. They forsook us and left no us. For that reason, see what the Lord has brought so us. We are with them. Am I communicating, Apostle? And these men had a point. There's nothing as painful as you laboring. And people have gone. And when God gives you increase, they want to come back and enjoy it. Verse 22. The Bible calls them wicked and calls them worthless. None of you ministers and nobody in this transformed conference shall be declared wicked and worthless. Someone shout hallelujah. The fourth category of people are people who are what we call selfish. The Bible calls them wicked and worthless. People want to revenge. People who say, Why should we give to them? They said, We will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered. Amen. That we have recovered. Except for every man's wife and children. That they may lead them away and depart. Listen to what David told this man. I pray this grace comes upon you. Verse 23 quickly, please. We have to pray. Bishops, give me one minute attention. Pastors, give me one minute attention. But David said, I pray God will give you a word for every situation. For every season. For every circumstance. As you go back, may your restoration be contained in that grace that gives you an answer for every condition, for every situation, for every battle, for every opposition in the name of Jesus. Opposition outside, opposition inside. May God touch your lips. 
and give you the right to what to say in times of circumstances. 23, please help me. David said to them, My brethren, you shall not do so. Not like that. With what the Lord. Oh, read with me. With what the Lord. Yeah. With what the Lord. Someone, with what the Lord. The revelation is if it was ours. It will be okay for us to think that way. But what God has given to us, it is abundant. What God has given to us, it has no end. What God has given to us is enough for us and enough for our enemies, enough for our children, enough for our children's children. When we say we are going to pursue and overtake and recover, God will give you enough. Enough for you. Enough for the church. Enough for the children. Enough for the youth. Enough for your generation. In the name of Jesus. He says there is no need. We are in a season of harvest. Let them come and enjoy the abundance of what God has given to us. The time of scarcity is coming to an end tonight. The time for scarcity comes to an end tonight. The season of limitation comes to an end tonight. When you are in limitation, Amen. When you are in limitation, you are guarding jealously what you have. You don't want anybody to take it. But when God ministers restoration, there is more than enough for you. More than you can carry. You have no choice but to begin asking others to come and help you. So I pray that God will open up your heart and appreciate the abundance that is giving to you that is enough for you and for your enemies enough for you and those who left to you in the name of Jesus let us rise up to our feet we are now going to pray I have delivered what was given to me. I have delivered what was given to me. I have delivered what was given to me. There are four conditions. We have people who are upset. We have people who are tired. We have people who are sick. And we have people who are selfish. And as we go back, God is equipped us with everything we need to deal with each one of the situations. We have the medicine. We have the prescription for every condition and situation that the enemy wants to use to frustrate Straight to you. David, this ministry was being frustrated because the enemy was using people who are upset, using those who are tired, using those who are sick, using those who are selfish. But Paul said, We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are leaving this place having known the devices of the enemy against our ministry. And we are going to begin to pray right now that every device of the ministry of the enemy against our ministry the Lord expose the Lord expose the Lord expose you see the reason we read this for God is telling you that I have a way of exposing the plans of the enemy and so I want us to pray that the Lord will expose expose Expose. Someone say expose. Expose. Do we have a choir in the house? Choir where? At least an instrumentalist. We are going to start to pray. We have ten prayer points, and we are going to pray all of them. Is that too much? Is that too much for you? Wonderful. So number one, we are going to pray that the Lord will expose. Amen. Expose. Every strategy. 
These were the strategies against David. But the strategies against you, Bishop. The strategies against you. The strategies against you. That the Lord will expose every strategy that the enemy is using to frustrate your ministry. Lift up your voice and let's begin to pray. Lift up your voice, let's begin to pray. And say, Lord, expose. Lord, expose. Lord expose 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 not just for the church not just for the church against your family against your business against your life expose 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 every strategy Every attack, every weapon of the enemy against me, against me, against the church. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. We have some intercessors. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, expose. As you sleep, God will speak to you and expose the plan of the enemy. He will expose. He will show you where the weakness is. Where the weakness is. He will show you where the enemy is using against you. Against you. Expose. 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 Our Jubilee. Expose. Our enemies. Expose. 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 Lift up your voice. Expose. Expose. Expose the plan of the enemy. Expose. Expose. Some of my children. Expose. Expose them. Expose every plan. Expose every strategy. Expose every trick. Expose. 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 Over Jubilee. Over the apostle. Over his children. I don't hear somebody pray. I thought I was in Uganda. Men and women pray. Where men and women pray. Where men and women pray. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, in this transform, transform conference, you are exposing, exposing bishops. The Lord is exposing. He'll speak to you. He'll reveal to you where the weakness is. And will give you a way out. You'll not walk blindly. You'll not be caught off guard. You'll not be attacked at night. I pray the Lord will expose. Will expose. Pray somebody. Pray choir. Pray somebody. Pray choir. Pray choir. Expose every weakness. Expose every limitation. Expose it. Expose those who are against. Those who are against the progress of the ministry. Expose. Those who are fighting, fighting against us, expose, 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 every attack, every expose, every attack, expose, 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 Kuliwia kuona, kuwaiya, o kuishwakanya, o kusagetelela, ente katika zamu kama muri nyali ayes. In the meetings where you are not, in the meetings where you are not, the Lord will send somebody out of the same meeting, out of the same meeting, to come and expose the plan of the enemy against you. Expose, 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 expose. Let their plans fall apart. Let their plans. Fail, overturn, overrule the plan.
son of the enemy over my life over the ministry expose expose override expose destroy expose expose the weapons the weapons the people that the enemy is using as weapons expose expose may God give you faithful men faithful men faithful men faithful men who will expose who will expose the plan of the enemy against you no more blindness no more blindness you will not be caught of God you will not be caught of God you will not build and the enemy destroys you will not build and the enemy destroys the Lord is exposing before it happens expose I want you to pray and thank God for every storm you have gone through because that storm is simply a setup for you to see the hand of God, the power of God, the grace of God upon your life. Thank God. 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 Thank God for every situation. Thank God for every attack. Thank God for every condition. The enemy meant it for evil. The enemy meant it for evil. But the Lord says, I'm turning it around for you are good. You are going to see my hand, my hand at work. You are going to see. 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 You are going to see the hand of God, the hand of God through the circumstances you have gone through, through that time of toiling, through the pain, through the attack, those who walked away, thank God, thank God, thank God, that was the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around for your good. Thank God, thank God, thank God that I have been barren. Now I'm going to see the miracle of God. Thank God they walked away. Now you're going to see the provisions from God. Thank God. through what you are going through God is going to manifest God is going to glorify himself himself through what you have been going through the enemy made it for evil but God is turning it around 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 turning it Pray that God will give you the strength. God will give you the faith. God will give you the power to pursue. To pursue. To pursue. To pursue. God give me the grace to pursue. Pursue the dream. Pursue the vision. Pursue the call. Pursue the ministry. Pursue the building. Pursue the finances. Pursue the prophecy. God, give me the power. Give me the power. The power to pursue. The power to pursue. The power to pursue. The power to pursue. Amani. Amani. Ejisa. Okulumba. The enemy wants 
to weaken you. Wants to weaken you. That you will not pursue. Yes, Lord. That you will not pursue. But tonight, I release grace. At least grace, the grace to pursue, the grace to pursue, to follow the dream, the grace to pursue, to follow the dream, the grace to pursue, the project, the grace to pursue, the church facility, the grace to pursue, the church building, the grace. To pursue, to pursue that orphanage, the grace to pursue the school. Give me the grace to pursue. I'm not gonna give up. I'll not be weary. I'll not be tired. I'll not be sick. I'll not be upset. Give me the grace to pursue. To pursue. I'll not be selfish. Give me the grace to pursue. To pursue. To pursue. Let us pray. Somebody pray. Pray for your destiny. God is calling some of you to dimensions. Dimensions that make you weary. Yes, Lord. Dimensions that make you upset. Yes, Lord. Dimensions that are far from you. But I pray for you that God will give you the grace to pursue, to follow the grace to pursue, to follow, to overtake in the name of Jesus. Speak to God, speak to God. Speak to God, speak to God, speak to God, speak to God. 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 Speak to your God. Speak to your God. Speak to your God. Speak to your God. And say, as I pursue. I pursue as I pursue I shall recover I shall recover I'll not pursue in vain as I pursue as I pursue I shall recover I shall recover I shall recover as I pursue, I shall recover. Whatever I pursue, whatever I pursue, what was lost, what was taken, what was hidden, what was taken, what was stolen, I pursue, I pursue, I pursue, I pursue, I pursue, I pursue, pursue business, pursue business, pursue ministry, pursue ministry, pursue my children, pursue my family, I pursue, I pursue, I pursue, I shall recover, 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 I shall recover. We shall recover what the enemy has taken. We shall recover what was stolen. We shall recover. We shall recover what was taken away. We shall recover what we are looking for. We shall recover what the enemy is boasting over. We shall recover. Recover our children. Recover our children. Recover our children. Recover our calling. Recover our dreams. Recover. Recover. Recover our health. Recover our health. Recover our health. Health of 
the ministry. Recover the worshippers. Recover the worshippers. Recover intercessors. Recover. 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 I pray for the grace to recover. 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 The Bible says, and when he had brought him down, there they were spread out over the land, eating and drinking and dancing. There's nothing as painful. There's nothing as painful as the enemy taking what's yours. And he even begins celebrating that he has it. There's nothing as painful for the fathers in the house and the mothers in the house where your sons are taken by the enemy and the enemy has such a celebration because of the pain you are going through there's nothing as painful as your church shrinking and the enemy is happy rejoicing that the multitudes have gone away but we are going to pray tonight that the Lord will spoil the Lord will spoil the celebration in the camp of the enemy in the name of Jesus that the celebration in the camp of the enemy is being destroyed tonight is being destroyed tonight those who are rejoicing over your things that celebration is being spoiled tonight lift up your voice 
said, Lord, I pray you will spoil the celebration in the camp of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, spoil the celebration. Stop the celebration. Terminate the celebration. Stop it tonight. Prophetically pray. And say, those who rejoice over my weakness, those who rejoice over my weakness, tonight, your celebration comes to an end. In the name of Jesus, those who celebrated my weakness, those who celebrated. My barrenness, my barrenness, those who celebrated my limitation, those who celebrated my poverty, my landlord, my landlord who celebrated my rent tonight that celebration is coming to an end lift up your voice and pray I terminate I terminate I terminate I terminate I terminate. I terminate. Every celebration. Every celebration. Every celebration. In the camp of my enemies. I terminate. The celebration. In the camp of my enemies. I terminate. I terminate. Every celebration. Over my marriage. In the camp of the enemy. I terminate. The celebration. In the camp of hell, over the size of my church, I terminate the celebration in the hands, in the mouth of my enemies, over my children, over my business. I terminate, 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 terminate. Zikiriza, bali kujaguza. Zikiriza, bali kujaguza. Buri sanyo, emulave wo. Yar kubola kadeko. Sazamu, zikiriza. The celebration. You are going to recover. You are going to recover. That celebration. That celebration. You are going to recover. Terminate it. Terminate it. In the camp of the enemy. Terminate. In the camp of the enemy. Terminate. Terminate celebration in the camp of the enemy. I terminate. 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 Penina celebrated. Yes, Lord. Penina celebrated. Penina celebrated. Penina celebrated. Penina celebrated. Penina celebrated. Penina celebrated. But when Samuel was born, when Samuel was born, the celebration, the celebration in the house of Penina, in the house of Penina, came to an end. Came to an end. We terminate. We terminate. We cancel. We cancel every celebration. Every celebration in the camp. In the camp of the enemy. We terminate. We terminate. We terminate. We terminate. Celebration. 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 Terminate. Terminate, 
So strongly, some of our bishops and pastors, and our pastors, they are laboring so hard, but there is a celebration in the camp of the witches and witch doctors around your churches. There's a lot of celebration because in spite of your hard work, your ministries are still very small and the wizards are boasting. The witches are celebrating. They say we got that man where I want him to be. But tonight before you go back, I want you to be Leave God with me. That celebration is coming to an end. Because on Sunday, your churches will be full. Your church will be full. Your church will be full. And that celebration is coming to an end. Lift up your voice one more time. And say, I pray that celebration in the camp of my enemies is coming to an end. Just two more prayer points and we close. The Bible says in verse number 19, I've been very careful to read everything that the apostle gave to us. The Bible says they recovered. And there was nothing lacking. Small, great, sons, sons, daughters, spoil, anything that had been taken away, nothing was lacking. I want us to pray for an abundance and restoration of our ministries that nothing shall be lacking as you go back. Everything that was stolen is restored and nothing and nothing shall be lacking. Lift up your voice and pray. I say everything, everything 
everything, 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 Can we prophetically do this? Someone say everything. 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 We want to pray for everything. The Bible says small. Small. The small of tunnel. And the great. Every single thing. Every single thing. What are some of the things you are dreaming about? Choir, choir, finances, church building, elders, anointing, grace, finances. Someone say everything. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, restore. Lord, restore everything. And nothing shall be lacking. And nothing shall be lacking. Lift up your voice and pray. Everything. 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 My finances. Everything. My money. Everything. My sons. Everything. My daughters. Everything. Their dream. Everything. Church members. Everything. 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 Elders in the church. Everything. The anointing, everything, the grace, everything, the covering, everything, restoration, everything, 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 everything. Let that be restoration of everything, 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 everything in the ministry, everything in the family, everything, 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 We are going to pray what the apostle asked us to pray for yesterday. That debts will be cancelled. Verse number 20. The Bible says Bible David took all the flocks and the hearts that they had driven before those that they had driven before those other livestock and he said this is David is spoiled David is spoiled. David is spoiled. David is spoiled. Not only do I have enough for everybody, but I have something for myself that is now able to cancel every debt that I can use to answer every question, to solve with every problem. David is spoiled. Bishops and pastors, I want you to pray. This will not just be a calling to people, but God will give you your own spoil in your hand. 
in the name of Jesus. After everybody is blessed, when everybody has, you'll be able to say, this is what God, this is what God, this is what God has given to me. I want you to pray that God will make a provision that will cancel every debt, that will cancel every debt, that will answer to every debt. There will be a spoil in your heart that will answer every debt. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. And say, Lord, I claim my spoil tonight. I claim my spoil tonight. I take my spoil tonight. I receive my spoil tonight. I embrace my spoil tonight. I go home with my spoil tonight. I go back with my spoil. I go back with my spoil. I'm carrying my spoil. I'm lifting my spoil. I am carrying my spoil, my spoil to cancel debts, my spoil to cancel every debt, my spoil to fund every project, my spoil to pay for everything, my spoil to buy the plots, my spoil to complete the house, to complete the house, to complete the house. My spoil to take my children to university to take them. Yes, to take them to university. My spoil. I'm carrying it with me. I am taking it. My children. My children shall not lack school fees. They will not lack any good thing. They will not lack provision. They will not lack where to go. They will not lack where to sleep. My wife. My wife will be glad. Will be glad. She married me because tonight I go with my spoil to spoil my wife. I carry my spoil. I carry my spoil to spoil my wife. To spoil my wife. To spoil my wife. To bless my children. Bless my family. Bless my brothers. My spoil. Oh, speak to God. Speak to God. Speak to God. Yes, Lord. Speak to God. 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 Before I invite up the apostle, Gasantinavakwanidamtume. Three o'clock. It's three o'clock. You have made me break a record. You have made me break a record. We end our services at 2 a.m. You have pushed me. You have pushed me. I'm going back with my spoil. I want us to pray. That not only do you have your spoil. Not only do you have your spoil. But the Bible says. Verse 26. I was very careful to read through all these verses. The Bible says. When David came to Ziklag. I was hoping you'll continue reading with me because it's self-explanatory. When David came back to Ziklag, read with me, he sent some of the spoil to the who? 
to the elders. Someone say elders. Oh, someone say elders. Those who are upset, they are about to get happy. Because something is going to meet them right where they are. Those who are sick, they are going to recover. Because something is going to find them right where they are. The Bible says the elders to his friends is somebody here with me the blessing of God that you are taking from this conference pastors is for elders it's for elders you are also carrying some for your friends all those who are around you are going to be happy just because of you just because of you you are church members they'll be happy the bible says we removed it quickly the bible says to the friends and also he said here is a present here is a present you know there are times when we don't even have presents for our children on our anniversary we have no present for our wives on the church anniversary we have no present for the bishop we have no present to bring to the apostle as, as, as a tithe of honor please put my scriptures back we have no present but the bible says i'm going to cause you to recover i'm going to restore you that there will be enough for the elders there will be enough for your friends there will be a present for you from the spoil of the enemies the next verse says 27 quickly help me out the Bible says 27 Bible to those who are in Bethel. Bethel is the church. Bethel, Bethel is a church Kanisha. that you left at home. Those who are not able to come to transform, the ones who remain in Bethel, there was something for them. Those who are in Ramos, in the south, in the south those who are in Jatire we are going to pray that we are leaving this place loaded with enough for us enough for every church in Jubilee for every pastor who was not able to come because of transport we are releasing a spoil to them next year next year will be here because of the spoil that we are sending them now. Now lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive enough. I receive enough. And for others. And for others. For the elders. For the church. For the children. Mention everybody. Lift up your voice and pray. And say, Lord, a spoil for the churches. For the elders, in the name of Jesus, I release over the pastors who did not come here a spoil, a blessing, restoration, anointing, grace over the friends, the friends of our churches, our wives, our children, our elders, our deacons, church workers. Ashers, givers, intercessors, tithers, we release, we release, we release, I release, I release a blessing, a blessing. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. I say, Lord, I receive, I receive a spoil for my church. I receive a spoil for my church. Children, I receive a spoil for my elders. I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, a spoil, a spoil, for those who are not here, I receive it, 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 I Mumamuka, Mumaserengeta, Abuvanjuba, Nebu Kwanjuba, Molinyaliyes.
let's just stand up. Come on, wait, wait. Let's just stand up, everybody. Come on. Stand up, everybody. Everybody stand up. These last two minutes you don't need to miss. We need a total restoration. We need a total restoration. Lift your hands and say, God, the total restoration. I'm recovering all. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. In my life. Oh, come on, declare it. Say from today. My hand giveth. I'm not a beggar. I crossed over from begging to abundance, from nothing to everything, from being absent to present I've stepped into my territory I have possessed what is mine I have taken all I have taken all I have more than enough I am now full or talk like a believer I am now full let's just worship let's worship let's worship let's worship lift your hands and let's worship Use them, Lord. 
as the word of God has come forth. God is starting with you. The restoration begins with you. Everything. The enemy took away from you. You are taking it back in Jesus' name. Total restoration. You are recovering all. You are about to share your abundance again with so many. We release you now with the oil of the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, no more tears. No more tears. No more hassle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy rejoiced over you, but it is over. Because you are getting back all. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody stand up, lift up your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your restoration. Take it all. Take it all. No limitations anymore. No hindrances. All the barriers are buried in Jesus' marine. We are going to do quickly, pastors, help us. We are going to have a line there, a line here, a line there. And everybody will just have to line up. And then the bishops and pastor and I are going to anoint everybody with oil. There, there, there. Give, give the bishops oil, please, quickly. And the pastor. Get the oil, get the oil. Get the oil. First line up, line up. Don't come before. One, two, three. Everybody goes behind those lines. We only have. So the workers. Have a way, the ushers. You are going to release. Seven people here. And the bishops and I just have, make sure you are in a straight line. Seven, then you stop. Seven, then you stop. Seven, then you stop. And then back, 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 back until everybody is finished. So we get everybody. You start from there. Wait for instructions. You start from there. You are anointed. Second bishop touches you. Third bishop. Fourth bishop. Come this side. You are supposed to be this side. Yes. Fifth bishop. Sixth bishop. Then me. Then pastor. And then you go. Because I don't, you can't return. There is no way to return. You probably will use. Create a way there. These ones will go through there. Those ones, seven here. You see, just send us. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release eight. And then when the eight are done, you stop. Then eight here. You stop. Then eight from there. Play something quickly prophetic. You are not on the pulpit too. I said play keyboard prophetic. Let's have something. We need to hear something. In the name of Jesus. 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 Those that are directing them to go back, please do it quickly. 
you go back to your seat and start to pray then the seven will come also from the other side the eight everybody must touch you don't be don't hurry hallelujah in the name of jesus receive the oil the oil of recovery the oil of restoration the oil of restoration the oil of restoration in the mighty name of jesus Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, pray. When you go back, even in the line, pray, pray, pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus. 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 Release eight from every line. Eight from every line in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The oil you are receiving is an oil of restoration. In the name of Jesus. 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 Go back and pray. When you go back, pray for yourself. Pray for total restoration. In the name of Jesus. Pray that you recover all that the enemy has taken from you. Pray that everything the devil took away, you can receive it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say the seven from eight from every line. When that is done, this then like that. Quickly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's have a worship song. In the name of Jesus. 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 Everybody must be anointed. Lift up your hands when you come to receive the anointing. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus. Come when your hands are lifted. Your hands are in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Come on, everybody, begin to pray. Those that are anointed, when those that have gone back to your seats, start praying. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your breakthrough. Receive the oil. Receive the oil. Receive the oil. The oil of the Holy Ghost. The oil that breaks the yoke of bondage. The oil that lifts the burdens. The oil that sets you loose from every attack of the enemy. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your restoration. Receive 
terror. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. 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 Come on, pray, pray, pray. Receive, come on. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray. In Jesus' mighty name. 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 Glory to God. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. 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 Receive right now. Koredabasa. Receive. 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 Lift your hands when you are coming. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive the oil. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. 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 Restoration in Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' 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 name. Receive. Receive. When you go back, pray. Lift your hands when you go back and pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Pray for yourself. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive the oil. 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 Go get what is yours. Go get what is yours. Go get what is yours. Receive. Your breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your oil in Jesus' mighty name. Receive a miracle. Receive your breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. 
In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Marine, In Jesus your total restoration. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Touch all the ghosts. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the Holy Ghost. 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 Touch of the Holy Ghost. Touch, touch of the Holy Ghost. 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 Touch 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 her right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch right now. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the spirit. Touch all the spirit. Touch all the spirit. Touch in Jesus' name. 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 Hallelujah. Touch in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Touch in Jesus' name. Receive 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 in Jesus' mighty 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 name. Touch all the ghosts. 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 Touch on the ghost. 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 Touch all the ghosts. 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 Touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Touch all the ghosts. 
Touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Touch all the ghosts. In Jesus' mighty name. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts in Jesus' mighty name. Touch all the ghosts. Touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Touch in Jesus' name. Touch in Jesus' mighty 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 name. Touch all the ghosts. Touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 See the touch in Jesus' mighty name. See the touch of the Holy Ghost. See the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. See the touch of the Holy Ghost. See the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive a 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 touch of the Holy Ghost. Touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Receive a touch in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Touch. 
Touch Holy Ghost. 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 Touch all the goals. Touch all the goals. Touch all the goals. Everybody begins to pray. Don't just sit down. Touch all the goals. 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 Touch all the ghosts. 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 Touch all the goals. Come and come on, you to Touch all the goals. Touch all the goals. Come and come on, you to Touch all the goals. Touch it, Touch all the goals. Come and come on, you want to Touch all the goals. Come and come on, you want to Touch all the goals. 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 Touch on the ghost. 
Now everybody is sealed with the oil. That means you are set. You are now set. Nothing will be impossible for you. Now I want to call, I want Pastor, Pastor Joseph to pray for the organizing committee. The heads of departments who have been involved specifically. I want you to quickly, uh, those who are here, those from the other branches, quickly come and Pastor Joseph is going to specifically pray for you. That means the pastors here and all the people you worked with. You all get your seed and come bring it to the altar and then be prayed for. And he's going to pray for you general. It's a general prayer. We need a microphone for the pastor. Quickly come here. You know it, don't you? You know yourself. Get your seed, put it here, and you're going to be prayed for. You are the first one to bring your seed. You drop it there and then stay there. When you are all finished, then he's going to pray for you. That includes the bishops, the pastors, the regional coordinators, everybody involved. But Pastor Joseph is going to pray for you. I, I wanted him to release a word in your life. Because what you are doing. It is not just merely organizing. You are handling an anointing. And you need to, to know that God is happy with you because of the energy you've put in organizing all this throughout the week. So that means the people heads of departments in music, media, hospitality, transport, F&B, uh, security, interpreters, all those people, uh, if I've not mentioned you, the MPKs, sound, everybody, the man of God, because this is what I believe when God calls you to prepare for him it means he's chosen you for a task and he wants to anoint you what you have done this week and the weeks before God is going to reward you so I wanted specifically you are standing on behalf of the people you work with you are representing them the prayer you receive they are going to receive so if, you, if they are praying for your department make sure that you you you, you 
say amen. All of us standing, we are going to pray together. In Jesus' mighty name, Pastor. Let's lift up our hands to heaven. I'm praying. When uh, I met a post in 2008, with a very fast international guest to our ministry. Let's think about Billy Munana. It was the very first conference that we ever organized as a new church. And he promised me that I will send here next year someone who will be a blessing to you. And he did. And if we thought Apostle was a blessing to us, the man that he sent after him was a greater blessing than he had been to us. And we have written our ministry under that commission. That we received a man who in turn sent us someone who was greater. Jesus said, It yes, is to your advantage that I go away. For when I go away, I'll send you someone that is greater who will guide you in all things. I love to come back here. But one thing I know, the same way you have received me, God himself is going to figure out a way of sending someone your way. Send someone in your ministry. Like John the Baptist spoke to the children of Israel. Said, I have been a blessing to you. But there is someone mightier than I. Who is going to come. So mighty that I cannot touch the, sand, the, the sole of his sandals. I am praying for you. That as you go back to your churches, as you serve God, God will find a way of sending someone to you. Someone to you personally. Someone to you as a family. Someone in your businesses. Someone in your career path. Someone in your churches that will be a great a blessing will be a mightier blessing than you would think in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will lift you up and pour upon you an anointing of joy that will lift you up above your companions. That as you have prepared prepared this conference a conference to pursue a conference will take over and a conference will recover all. I know that each one of you is pursuing something. I pray by this time next year each one of you in your churches, in your homes, in the lives of your children, you will be able to testify that we have pursued, we have taken over and we have recovered all. Whatever you have lost, I pray for recovery. Whatever was stolen away from you, 
I pray for recovery. What you have not even seen, I pray that you recover it. The Bible says that there is a hidden treasure that is in a secret place. May God open your eyes to, to, to detect that treasure that has been hidden from you. Finally, I pray that your phones, your phones, telephones, your telephones, I'll tell you something, Apostle. For the time I've been here, I shared a testimony yesterday. I have many testimonies from my phone. From people that I did not expect they can ever bless me. Even those I didn't know that they know I'm here. Lord, I pray over every phone. Every phone. I give you permission to touch your phones if you have them. Every phone. Every phone. Every phone. Every phone. Every phone. Every phone. The phones of the bishops. Phones of the pastors. Phones of the ashes. Phones of the protocol team. Phones of those who are prepared. Phones of those who cook. Phones every phone. Every phone, every phone, every phone, before the end of this month, you will surely say, there is a God we serve who answers prayer. May there be a text, may there be a phone call, may there be a communication coming through your phone that will become an answer to your trouble, become an answer to your burden, become an answer to your dilemma, become a breakthrough testimony. Every phone I prophesy over you, you'll have good news in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody will say, Amen. God richly bless you. On my own behalf, I want to say, Thank you so much for loving me, for honoring me, for the, humili for the humility of the bishops. I, carry, I go back and carry you in my heart. May God use you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate Pastor Joseph. Thank you. We have not ended, so if you are going out, I don't know what you are going to do. Yeah, we, we, are, we, are, we are still in our time. Yeah, so nobody should do hurry. Amen. I said amen. So, uh, So, everybody get your seed and walk to the altar like the, the leaders did. And just thank God with your seed. Come on, walk to the altar and thank God with your seed. And tell him thank you for what you have done in my life. The whole of this week. Come on. Learn how to be grateful to God. Whatever you have, tell God thank you so much. Thank you for visiting me. Thank you for transformation. Thank you for sending me out with an anointing that will change my place that will change my community that will change my village that will change my city that will change my church that will change my ministry learn how to be grateful be grateful to God be grateful to God with your seed be grateful to God with your seed in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name be grateful to God be grateful to God amen my prayer for you my prayer for you that 
next year's TIC 2024. You'll be the biggest financer. There are those that God is going to bless mightily. That you will start to give money at the beginning of the year. This is for transforming international conference. Because God is going to bless you incredibly. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now there is one thing we are going to do. We are going to take time. Like an entire 30 seconds. Second, that stand up on your feet. And we're going to clap our hands non-stop. Non-stop. Wait for everybody to stand up. And that 30 seconds. Second, we are going to be thanking God. Right from Every blessing he has given us. Security. Anointing. Food. Music. Worship. The word. The speakers. We are going to be grateful. We are going to tell him Lord. We wouldn't have done it. Without you. But this is your offering. We are clapping for you. And as we clap, we are also saying, wait, wait. As we are clapping, we are saying, take us back home safely and use us mighty for the remainder of the year. Are you ready to be grateful to God? So put your hands above your head and clap for 30 minutes when you are thanking God. When when you're thanking God, when you're thanking God for the success, for the success, for the anointing, for the word, for what he has done in our midst, for sending us his best, for the word imparted, for the anointing released, for the way he has raised people, that prophetic word, that worship everything we've received for protecting us for protecting us against the evil one for every person who has worked tirelessly who has worked hard from the security to the people cooking to the ushers to music ministry to the bishops to the pastors to the speakers, to the sound people, to the media people, to the security officers, to everybody, to hospitality, to everybody, to the Holy Ghost, to the Holy Ghost, for what he has done, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, give Jesus a mighty shout, Amen. Whoever it is. How many people promise? Bameka go suiza. First of all, in the name of Jesus, you will live and not die. So that you can come back here. 2024. When you are looking much better than you look right now. How many people say, I'm definitely coming for Transform 2024. Come on, lift your hand and say, I'm coming back. Tell three people and give them a high five and say, I'm coming back. Tell them you'll find me here. And I'll be 
looking better than I look right now. Amen. Amen. So I'm, I'm, um, so listen to this. Two things and I leave the pulpit and somebody comes. We're going to raise our hands and pray for Pastor Joseph. He travels back next week. We pray for his ministry. We pray for his family. For his wife and children. Pray every good thing over this man. Raise your hand and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. We release a blessing. We release a blessing over you. We send you back with a blessing. As you have come and emptied yourself. And given your best. And gave us your heart. And, and, and preached as a servant. And lived among us as a servant. We ask the good Lord. To empower you. To strengthen you. To give you your heart's desire. To prosper your ministry. That you will go back. Even while you are here. Just like you've told us. You've been receiving text messages. So will it increase. So will the Lord accelerate it. Many people will say. That man. That man of God. I need to bless him. Because he goes. He is not stuck. He is not seated. He is not scared. He is not limited. We pray for you. We pray for your family. We pray for your ministry. We pray that God. Will use you mightily to usher in a mighty revival in that province, in that province, and in the country, and in North America. May God give you men and women who will stand with you. That you will never have to worry. Who will take care of this? Who will take care of the ministry? When God says go, you will go because you know that God has always been faithful so as a transformed family as a transformed family we speak a blessing on your life we send you back that may God refill you refresh you as you've refreshed us we thank you Lord for your man of God in Jesus mighty name and God's people say Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. Last but not least. Last but not least. From the bottom of my heart. I want to say. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hearing and heeding the voice. Thank you, thank you for serving God. Thank you for making transform. This year's transform. Full of transform Full of enthusiasm. Full of life. Every speaker who has preached here. They have enjoyed it. They have kept telling me. I've I've been attending, but this is the best. So thank you so much. I'm praying. I think Pastor is coming. I'm praying for you. That as you go, we are going to pray closing prayer before you exit. That, uh, that as you go home, back to your church, things will be different. Things will be different. God of the turnaround. Strengthen you. Keep you. Bless you. Make you smile. Travel with you. 
And may the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding keep your heart protect you and may you walk in the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name Amen I love you so much I love you so much. God bless you right from here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, well, 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 well. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we want to thank God so much for such a great time that we have spent in his presence. I can only say that God has blessed us. I can only say that God has rescued us. I can only say that God is with you. And we pray in the name of Jesus that as you go back, the Lord will go back with you. May he bless you May he give you favor in whatever that you are going to do in Jesus' name. We thank God so much for the wonderful speakers that we have had. Great men of God. They have really impressed, uh, impressed so much upon us. Uh, and you know, we can only say thank you. Amen. So wherever you come from, please prepare yourself. Uh, we shall be moving in a few minutes from now. The people who have organized transport, they are going to be calling us uh, in groups. And if they call us, let us go to our vehicles and may we travel safely in Jesus' name. May we pray together.